Wondering how to move everything on your timeline at once? Let me show you how to do it. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so let's say you've just edited your Camtasia project and you're going through and you're like, oh no, I need to move something over or I need to delete something then move everything after that. And depending on your project, you might have so many pieces going on at once. There is a couple of different ways that you can do this. So I'll show you the manual way and then I'll show you like the easier way. Before you do anything, make sure that you minimize your timeline. I feel like a lot of people forget about this timeline here. So this right here with the magnifying glass and the plus and the minus, this will extend your timeline or it will minimize your timeline. And I find that a lot of people forget that it's even there and they use this to, let's say, scroll through and trying to find a place. And you know, it can get pretty crazy if you've got like a 10, 20 minute, 30 minute video trying to find something on your timeline. If you wanna move everything, I would recommend you go the smallest possible where you can see everything. So what do I mean? So at this point right here, my video is very short. It's only three minutes something. So when I bring the minimization down to here, I can see everything. I can see the end here. Sometimes if my videos are like 10, 20 minutes long, I have to just really go down and really minimize it. But I say only go down to you initially see that you can see everything like right here. The manual way to highlight everything is to bring it down to this point and just take your mouse and just go a little bit off the edge here and press your mouse and just start dragging it and then you've got everything there. Now, the thing with that is you might forget some things if you for even forget to scroll up. It's happened to me in the past where, you know, you forget you had a bunch of stuff going, you know, track five, track six, track seven, depending on, you know, how complex your project is, you might forget and you might just only, oh, track three, and then you forgot about the other stuff and then you go to move everything and then everything's just messed up. So that's the more manual way. The other way that's a lot easier is I'm on a PC. I'm not sure what it is for a Mac, but I'm sure there's a command for it, is you just click control A and then it basically is like control all and it highlights everything. And then from here, you can grab somewhere and then you can go and move everything as a whole. Now, if you're like, I wanted to grab mostly everything, but there's a couple ones I don't want. From here, once it's grabbed everything, highlight everything, you can, again, I'm on a PC, you can hold down the control button and click on ones that you don't want to move. So let, I'm holding the control button and I click on this one. Oh, I didn't want this one. Oh, this one's fine there. And then you can go and uncheck the ones that are not needed. So that's also another thing to do if you want to move the majority, but not necessarily everything. I've had a couple of, you know, YouTube coaching clients where I'm teaching them, you know, how to edit and stuff. And then they realize they need to move something and then they move something and then the whole thing is messed up. So that is a really quick, simple way to highlight everything and move it on your timeline. Hit the thumbs up button if you thought this was cool. And if you wanna know how our YouTube channel makes between 15 to $20,000 a month creating tutorials just like this, you guys can head down to the description below. I'll have a free training for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.